Hey YouTube, I just want to do a video on something I consider very important and uh, a piece of equipment that I think every man and woman, young or old, should carry in their car at all times. It's kind of a lost uh, art, lost idea. Uh, now that cars are more reliable, people tend to carry this less and less. But uh, I still think it's very relevant and very important and I advise everybody watching to carry one of these in that car. Now, this is a, a, a portable car toolbox and I have a, a couple of vintage cars. I have a 68 Mustang, I have old 90's uh, Toyota pickups and things and they still need maintenance. They uh, always uh, they might need some repair on the road so this travels with me wherever I go. I actually have a couple of them. Uh, you can have them in a steel box like this or you could have them in a canvas bag either way but uh, let me uh, go through it and show you what I keep in here. It's packed in there pretty tight, but I've perfected this box down to where you can do just about anything, just about anything, including you know brake repairs, oil changes. Um, you could probably pull a radiator out, a lot of roadside repairs with this toolbox. So of course, basically, like you see it on top here, screwdrivers. You know, number two Phillips, uh, number two, number one slotted, number one Phillips for taking out small screws, uh, very small slotted for prying, you know, caps and covers and things like that off, and also for taking out small screws. Uh, always an, a spare number two Phillips helps. Depending on your car, uh, you can carry metric or standard sockets you know most newer cars a lot of parts are imported so you know you're just gonna have to carry both uh, I have an old Mustang everything's SAE everything's standard 3 8 5 8 and I have Japanese cars everything's metric you know 10 millimeter 14 millimeter so this is a metric set of uh, sockets you know these pliers uh, I find them useless I've never used them slip joint pliers they're called uh, they came with a set, so I just keep them in here. You know, they're good for maybe uh, pinching hose clamps or pulling out a fuse or what have you if you're in a real bind. Very important. Oh, and another another comment. Uh, all these tools, buy the best ones you can afford. Minimum, minimum, Harbor Freight. And uh, not the cheap $4 set of sockets. Uh, buy the, uh, at least the professional grade stuff from Harbor Freight. A lot of the stuff I have in here is um, uh, Craftsman, even old Craftsman stuff, uh, made in USA. Uh, you know, old Channel Lock stuff made in USA. They're still making USA, so go buy it while you still can. Uh, you know, and whatever I whatever uh, I couldn't find made in USA, I buy uh, Harbor Freight stuff. So, just a word of advice: buy quality stuff, the best that you can afford. A uh, pair of dikes. Always buy Channel Lock dikes. Don't go cheap on dikes. They will betray you when you need them the most if you go cheap needle nose pliers with cutters channel lock needle nose pliers also very good they want to uh, bend and twist and screw you when you uh, need them the most 3 8 drive ratchet I have an old one I put my uh, trust in these so half inch drive ratchet this is you don't need this this is an optional piece of gear I do sometimes some heavy heavy-ish duty work so I keep this handy I actually once took the lugs off my motorhome with this thing in a pinch. Big old piece of fence post. I took them off. Uh, vice grip pliers. Important. I don't think I need to elaborate on what these are, but they always come in handy for something. Water pump pliers or uh, sl uh, channel lock pliers. Tongue and groove pliers, I call them. These always come handy for taking out grease caps and things like that. Here's my uh, half inch uh, sockets, metric size. The reason I have mostly metric stuff is because I uh, drive Japanese cars for the most part. I got a Mustang. Uh, I used to have a Dodge that had mixed Japanese and uh, uh, American sizes. But you know, it just turned out that I have mostly uh, Japanese cars. So. I drive this. I have this stuff. And if you get in a pinch, you can use those. They're not great, but they'll work for taking out standard nuts and bolts also. A pair of wire strippers, very important to me. Anyways, good pair. Channel locks. Oh yeah, this is uh, important. Tire repair kit. 
get one of these things okay they come handy you, you can buy this there's a little T handle or uh, this is for reaming of the hole this thing here is for putting the plug in and then you can um, you get tire patches that you can toss in here and if you get a hole a puncture you ream it out with this thing you put the little uh, rope through here stick it in and pull out real fast plugs the hole I've done many tires that way and they don't leak ever people might say oh you know take it to the shop fix it nah it's never done me any harm metric I have metric and standard wrenches in here but the metric gear wrench this is an old set I got from um, old uh, Craig in many 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 years ago I have a lot of um, and I've never found US made gear wrenches it's always uh, Taiwan or China made uh, never found uh, US made I know Craftsman makes some but few and far between and uh, they're kinda bulky so you know who knows okay oh yeah so standard size the important size is uh, 10 millimeter 14 millimeter let's see what else uh, and, and the 9 16 12 millimeter 13 millimeter also another a tip if you buy craftsman uh, sets they always have oddball sizes that other uh, sets don't have they have uh, 16 millimeter 13 millimeter 18 millimeter things that other sets don't carry craftsman carries in metric half inch that one um, 3 8 very important 7 16 is very important um, little mini sockets this is a cheap set I think it's also it's like a Harbor Freight set. But it's good for taking off dash covers and screws and things. Needle nose uh, vice grip pliers, very handy. Uh, these are Husky from uh, Home Depot. I would recommend if you when you buy a vice grip, when you buy pliers, locking pliers like these, make sure that they're welded up here. Many of them have a rivet that holds that this piece and that piece together. Don't buy those. Buy the one that's welded here. In both cases that's a slightly better quality than the cheap ones very large 12 inch adjustable wrench I have um, craftsman ones too but this one I've had in here for a long time so I keep it it's handy for many things in a lot of German cars the uh, oil, oil filters held on with a big old plastic uh, like a ABS plumbing uh, cap and this thing takes it off uh, nice pry bar also known as a slotted screwdriver midget Phillips screwdriver and you know the reason I have so many screwdrivers in here is because I have a saying one for losing two for using or uh, uh, one for using two for losing you have this right uh, another another philosophy is one is none and two is one if you heard that so always have doubles if you can of stuff this here is a uh, I'll give you a second to guess what it is all right, this is a, a hose clamp remover, a Craftsman item. Works really well. I can't operate with one hand for some reason. Okay, there it goes. But it has little jaws that hold on to those skinny wire hose clamps, and you the locks in place, and you can wiggle them out and get them out. Very useful. Uh, flex head three edge dry ratchet. This thing is um, you can use that when you need a lot of leverage, and but you don't want to use half inch. This thing has a uh, Nice long handle, I think it's almost a foot long. We got the job done for sure. Five eighths, uh, five eighths wrench. Oh yeah. Hex keys. Unusual. You don't use them much, but you know, if you if you need them, they're there. Skinny piece of wire. If you you never know when you need to test relays and things, this comes in real handy. There's a couple of sockets that fell out of the uh, holder there, so I'll let those go. Um, three half inch drive extension. Have use extensions. Always carry extensions. You'll need them. Even a small three inch drive extension. You will need it eventually. I mean that's pretty much it. Tape measure. You know this is for general purpose use. Okay, uh, a couple more things. Electrical tape, very important. Carry a roll of this stuff in your car. Uh, another thing I do is I throw random um, butt connectors in here. Uh, this is for if you have a broken wire, you can stick one in here and stick one in the other end, crimp it in the middle, and you have a instant instant joint. This here is for tapping 
into uh, existing wires. You know, it's called a uh, scotch block, I think. I'm not going to get into it. Zip ties. Just throw random things in here. Throw random zip ties. You know, yeah, I got three or four zip ties in here. So, uh, this is what a scotch block looks like. Uh, you put the two wires you put on the left, you put the wire you uh, want to tap into. On the right, you put the wire that you're going to splice. And then you close this flap and it pushes this metal thing down. And uh, makes a little joint between the two wires. Very useful. Most important uh, size in Japanese cars. 10 millimeter. Can't read it, but it's 10 millimeter, trust me. Uh, alligator clip jumpers for when you need to do stuff. Test relays, um, jumper fuses, do all kinds of things. This here is a cool little item. Uh, I got this at, uh, I think I got AutoZone. But it's a little kit that has a little tire gauge. It costs like three bucks. I, I needed this when I was uh, I was driving my motorhome and I had a bent valve stem and I couldn't feel air on the tire. And I got one of these guys. And this is a valve core removal tool. Stick that in there, turn the valve core around. And you can do this when the tire is still inflated. It starts to you know hiss, but when you if you work fast, you can put the new valve stem in, tighten it down without uh, without losing all your air. So useful thing to have. Toss it in here. That's pretty much it, guys. Here's another uh, little uh, 3H drive extension, just to get that a little extra. Yeah, a lot of times when you have a tight space, the head of the ratchet, you know, this thing here, will get in the way of whatever you're trying to do. So it's nice to have a little extension on there. Anyways, guys, uh, I just want to reiterate, you know, carry the best quality stuff you can. Uh, Craftsman is good, Harbor Freight minimum, uh, you know, Lowe's and uh, Home Depot, that kind of stuff. So, you know, that'll work fine. Uh, don't go and buy, you know, Snap-on. And this stuff costs, you know, a lot of money for a travel toolbox. So, I wouldn't recommend it. But definitely, your life sometimes depends on this. And uh, <clears throat> make sure you, uh, you know what's in the box. Make sure you know how to use it. And definitely have it handy at all times. Well, thanks for watching.